Aquarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Aquarius, um, if you're interested in the full astrology breakdown, then please do find my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where I go through a step-by-step, -step, very detailed astrology breakdown every week for you guys and all 12 zodiac signs um, every single week. So this reading is a timeless reading. This reading comes to you when, you're, when you need to hear it, when you want to hear it. And there are hundreds of readings like that on this um, on this channel for Aquarius and thousands for all zodiac signs. So have a look. Whatever calls to you was, is right. It's, it's what you need to hear. Um, please feel free to leave your comments below, Aquarius. Oh, shit. So automatically we're opening up with shoes. Now this is mercurial. It's, you know, if in the Greek gods, Mercury was the one that wore the wings on his heels and that means that there's messages coming in you're either going to be delivering those messages or you're going to be receiving messages but this is communication and immediately i was like what hello books learning and education you're learning something something is going to be discovered it could shock the crap out of you it could also shock the crap out of us globally and ultimately the message is going to be distributed this is like getting the word out getting the message out um getting to the bottom of something figuring it out reading something learning something knowing something and then telling somebody about it or them being it being delivered to you so that you then know about about it this is definitely breakthrough information that is coming into you guys this week so let's get into the tarot card reading Aquarius and I, I really freaked out because 21 degrees is the position of Uranus which is your ruling dignitary is at 21 degrees Taurus um, at the time that I'm filming this so this is like in the middle of June in 2023 um, Uranus is at 21 degrees Taurus. So it's got to do with some sort of information found and discovered that is going to rebel or break through or incite rebellion. I'm just letting you know because that's what Uranus does. So, okay. Ooh, somebody from the past, somebody that you've been reminiscing about or something to do with your home because we have the six of cups on the table. Maybe even in some ways feeling like a kid again or acting like a kid again. Um, or the desire to want to act like a kid again. But we also have strength. It's almost like, it's almost like, you know, um, you're getting to be young and innocent, but you have the strength. Also a sense of facing a fear that you had as a child and some sort of dynamic breakthrough when it comes to the full cycle turnaround of that. It could also just be something has strengthened or grown stronger with a long-term friendship or relationship um, that you've had connection for a while, maybe to your home or to somebody that you've known for a while. Justice, this person could be a Libra. If this person is a Libra, this is a person and they're a Libra, your relationship is about to level the fuck up because there is a beautiful dynamic here that this also speaks of justice with some sort of strength that you have gained or strengthening of this joy that you've had since you were a kid some sort of real dynamic decision has been made or could even be outside of you a, a legal decision being made that sort of strengthens this desire or dream or connection that you have had since you were a kid. Um, that's really interesting. I don't even know like where to go from that, but let's keep going. I think it's almost like you've made a decision about who you want and who you care about. We have a three of wands here too. This means beautiful prospects for the future. Um, um, King of Wands has showed up. So this is a fire sign. Um, maybe even an offer of love or sharing or showing your feelings. Um, showing what matters to you. Um, hold on. Let me show you the cards. We have the Three of Wands that's come out, which is all about an investment in the future or maybe even education. This could talk about education 
realizing something and now seeing prospects or seeing the capacity to actually use what you know and see the benefits of that coming into your life. We have King of Wands, which can be a person that's coming into your life, or it can just represent this dynamic of having the energy and the confidence to move forward with something that you know is the right way to go. A passion that you are certain of, you know this will give you immediate turnaround. Just having the confidence to not question your own thoughts and beliefs. This could be your creative energy. You could be expanding or broadening out globally. You can be distributing globally your information you could just you're it's almost like you're just reaching for reaching beyond your limitations and knowing that this is the right time to do it and then we have knight of cups has come out so this is definitely sharing your feelings or emotions with somebody um letting somebody know that you care or there is this dynamic energy of somebody letting you know that they, you, they care, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. It's like, it's like just knowing there's a future with this person now or them deciding, especially if you're deciding to move or this is somebody that you've known since you were younger. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. There is a sense of reaching out to them or realizing that now is the time to reach out to them. Um, or they're reconnecting with you if this is a person if this is about an opportunity Aquarius holy crap there is such certainty and conviction that that you that you need to expand beyond your boundaries at this point or however you've come you need to go further um, um, taking creative control and loving it and sharing some sort of message knight of cups hmm interesting it just is all really interesting let's see let's see let's you know what let's get a moon card since there is if you're watching this when i upload it there is a new moon that's coming don't let pride get in your way that's leo energy and there is the king of wands on the table so there could even be just a sense of don't let pride get in your way to open yourself up to new opportunities and new joys um, Mars and Venus are conjuncting in Leo. So there's a sense of if you're curious, you have these curiosities, just open yourself up to them. We have don't let pride get in your way of your future, especially. And then we have prosperity lies ahead, but it's coming in reverse. I don't, I think that, yeah, pro prosperity lies ahead if you don't let pride make your decisions for you right or somebody else's pride it could be somebody else's pride kind of standing in your way and maybe trying to limit you and basically all they need is love they need to know that they're loved that's what it is it's almost like somebody's craving attention in your life um and that's sort of what just just give them attention and i think that there is a sense of um that energy won't get in your way so much anymore but um Okay, let's let's get a little bit deeper into this. What do you mean don't let pride get in your way? Prosperity mm, is kind of wonky. It's being held up. Why? Why? What's going on? What's going on? Please be clear with Aquarius here. Please be cl clear. This is two of cups. This is two of cups from six of cups. Somebody that you've known for a long time, this energy and this maybe even love affair, this connection has grown. This is Aries coming out onto the table now. This sense of um, open yourself up to something that you never thought you'd open yourself up to, especially if something's coming back around that didn't get to occur or when you were a kid, but the desire has gotten more intense and strong. Um, there is an ace of cups. It's almost like an offering of love is on the table. And this could be a love or a connection or communion that you did not expect. This is Taurus energy. Sometimes it represents a marriage or a potential for marriage, a sense of maybe you never thought that this would happen. <laughs> Let it fucking happen, Aquarius. But this is also a sense of um, um, 
a, a commitment to each other. It's almost like a strong commitment to each other. It's like let you, it's like this love that's happened and opened up even though I don't think it was expected, but something has changed dynamically. A shift has happened. Something has equaled itself out. Don't let pride get in your way comes out for me when there has been bad experiences in the past and you let that color how you feel about somebody or a situation in the present time and it's because of your pride and your pride is really protecting or defending your fear well the strength card is saying face your fear look at your fear look at what happened in the past look at that disappointment face it in the mouth and tame it so that you can see and be aware wow this was really a sincere offer or a wonderful opportunity and a great way to move forward into the future as long and then you'll have a shit ton of prosperity as long as you don't let that pride get in your way because this is actually a wonderful opportunity that you could miss because you're letting that pride get in your way. That's the only sort of warning that's coming out. So let's get a little bit more understanding of what that means, Aquarius, with don't let pride get in your way. We've got to help them understand five of swords. There was some sort of defeat in the past. There was some sort of loss or at least you perceived that you were a loser or somebody perceived that they were a loser and this is their pride that they let get in their way and ultimately this is why this could be somebody that you know it's like justice finally coming around because they're finally acknowledging that wow I should never have given up on you I should have invested in you I shouldn't have lost you and with that healing could come a tremendous partnership as well so whether it's you or them or both of you realizing that I was wrong and give like not letting that pride interfere nine of pentacles is yes yeah, somebody um is finally recognizing how much you are worth and acknowledging it and you're finally getting maybe that paycheck or that money and prosperity that's that's been owed to you that you've earned it's finally coming in this has got to do with a long defeat and it's like it's like don't let pride get in your way is saying don't slap away the check from somebody's hand just because bad shit happened this is a recognition of well you deserve the check and you've earned the check and now it's finally coming to you and though it's tempting to be be egotistical and prideful bullshit bullshit with that it's like forgive forgiveness that's kind of even what the knight of cups is like Take this leap of faith. Let faith guide you. Let it move you into the future and let forgiveness happen. Because the Ace of Cups is also, you know, the Ace of Cups is also forgiveness. It's also baptism. It's also healing. It's like the Holy Grail. This sense of, of a leap of faith or being maybe even traditional in that sense could have something to do with a baptism that's really interesting energy and i want to see where this is going let's hop on over to the extended aquarius so we can continue our journey the link is down below in the um, comment section i'll pin it to the top of the comment section um, the description box if you're watching this on television you're gonna have to go to your laptop right now or your cell phone so you can actually get access to these links and I will see you guys in the extended